Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Turk Tank 12 here, and today we're going to have a preview video of the a RHM Borsig Waffen Traeger. Waffen Traeger, Borsig Waffen Traeger. Um, RHM, I got no idea what that means. Borsig, maybe it's a company, I will have to no. know. I don't really know. Yeah, Rhein Metal. Borsig, that was the company name, and Waffen Traeger is just a weapons carrier. So, Tank Destroyer, developed by the Rhine Metal Borsic Company and designed as a special artillery carrier. This vehicle, the vehicle was designed to carry an artillery system as well as to fire from the chassis. The vehicle utilized the suspension of the Hetzer Tank Destroyer. Development continued from the end of 1943 through the middle of 1944. However, the project was discontinued in favor of the Ardelt project because of a complicated design, high cost, and excessive weight. So, I'm sorry guys, I just... <laughs> Had some really nice um, things. Uh, some really nice things I just uh, saw. So, and uh, I listened to a very awesome song. So, this thing is a tier 8 tank. Tank destroyer, of course. What's so special about it? Well, first off, if you look at its size and if you compare it to other tier 8 tank destroyers, you notice that this thing is a small tank compared to the Jack Panther 2, to the Ferdinand to the T28 and the prototype and that of course means it's fairly bad armored so what's so special about this tank uh, as always very very bad turret armor or non-existing turret armor and um, this is tier 8 with, a t with two tier 10 guns on it that's maybe the most special thing about this tank probably and I will show you guys just some gameplay right now but first off, we're gonna cover all the statistics and the m more important uh, values of this tank. So, it does have 1,100 uh, health points. Um, as always guys, this tank is fully upgraded. I only play the fully upgraded versions. I will not play the stock versions. Um, its weight load limit is 23 tons. Which 20 tons are already... Um, occupied by just because of the weight of the gun and all that kind of stuff the engine power is 207 horsepower which is very low in my opinion but it isn't a too heavy tank I mean the let's see T71 is just about the same weight but it has like 200 more health uh, horsepower which is pretty amazing if you ask me the speed limit is 35 kilometers per hour that's still reasonable for a TDE it's rather fast um, traverse speed is 38 which is fairly good uh, you will see that in the game it's very nice to turn this tank and uh, uh, I will show you some tactics I have with this tank the hull armor pretty much non-existent 8 on the back 10 on the side 20 on the front Standard shell damage six uh, up to 613 standard shell penetration up to 308 Rate of fire 5.5 rounds per minute, 18, sec 18 degrees per second gun traverse speed, very slow, even for TD, and view range 400 meters, which is very good. That's the same view range as tank uh, as uh, tier 10 heavies and mediums have. Well, tank destroyers. So I'm gonna put on some important uh, uh, important things right here. I will put a uh, Binoc on here because I will have to be able to spot the enemies from afar. So I guess um, this pretty much covers all the important thing things about this tank. Uh, I will start playing with the 12.8 centimeter gun. This is not the same gun as on the Jag Tiger. Uh, it could be um, the stock gun of the Jag Tiger. I will real fast check it real fast. Yep, it's a stock gun of the Jack Tiger. It still does have a lot of penetration and it, it still packs a punch, but it's nothing like the fully upgraded version of the Jack Panther gun, a uh, Jack Tiger gun. But of course, that would not fit on this tank because it's too small. So let's jump into a bell. It shouldn't take us too long. There are a lot of tier 8 players out there.
waiting to get into a game. Uh, also, um, the test servers have really um, have really uh, grown bigger, so you can now they can take up more players, and we get into a nice tier eight match right at the beginning. And let's see how much damage we can do here. I have to say the tank looks a little bit like the M4 A2 E2 uh, on the on the emblem right there. It looks like a little bit of a Sherman um, jumbo. Maybe sounds weird. Yeah, sounds a little bit weird, right? So, where am I headed? I like to go to that spot right there and to shoot the guys since I have the binox I want to shoot the guys that are going to go through the one two line and I have just have to make the game a little bit less um, uh, a little bit quieter because the volume is just way too high at the moment so as you can see here we reach our uh, speed limit already and yeah, it is quite maneuverable, so you have to be careful when you are side scraping all that kind of stuff, not to over maneuver. So you don't get your tank out too in the open and you can't side scrape anymore. So um, this is also the new Ice Tree um, look. They changed it a bit. Uh, and yeah. So let's see what we can do here. Looks like we're not fast enough. Something hit him right there. Uh, I'm supposing, I'm guessing it's Yachty. So I'm lagging here. A little bit of frame rate drop. So he's dropping shells on the FCM. We're trying. And I don't want to get hit by artillery. Because it's um, very deadly if you get hit by artillery for this tank, especially since this tank only has 20 millimeters of frontal armor. Uh, it's not not enough to take in a heat round or a high explosive round of any artillery. So as you can see here, uh, it is a very low profile tank. It does not have good good gun depression, in my opinion. But you can manage because the tank is uh, has a very low profile, so you should be able to at least. So we put one into the side turret of the uh, uh, T28 prototype, and he takes one in a big time, a big shot from the ISU. Looks like we're losing the J4, J5 sector, so that's why. We'll try to move up here. And we will not... Oh my god, he shot onto me. That was lucky. Of course, this tank has great pen with even with the stock jack that we got. So we're gonna try this here. There you go, we can still damage him, but he can't shoot us because we're... Oh, never mind, actually. And there was a very cheap shot, in my opinion. Size you has to take him out. This artillery is all over me now. And we're losing people all over the place. That means I have to pull back to base set up somewhere over there and try to defend the base which will be very hard there's oh there they are coming well I set them on fire but I have to get the hell out of here and there you have it guys this tank really is very vulnerable to gunfire and it really takes a toll on its uh, armor it does not have any armor so don't even try to side scrape as you saw me doing there um, he hit me at a 12 
degree angle and it still penetrated me, which is fairly odd. That has to do that the armor is just too low or pretty much non-existent and that scraping shot really did penetrate me still in the end. So, that didn't go too well. At least we got Master Gunner and did top damage in our team. So we'll try this again with the top gun. And then we're gonna go over with the with the stock um jack tag gun and then we're gonna switch over to the 15 centimeter gun. Uh I, I played this tank in city maps before. It was a fairly uh, it was fairly uh, a good game most of the time for me in city maps, but at the moment looks like matchmaker has other plans for me and he gets me into a tier 10 match which is going to be a rather tough game so they there are no other German TDs in here except for him and me there are no GW no Waffentrager Alf E100 so that means they do not have the view range they do not have the 420 meter view range advantage and we don't have either. I would have actually went into a spot where I could spot them but since uh, this tank only has a view range of 4 uh, which has it has a view range of 400 meters which is very good in this uh, in tier 8 but is about standard in tier 10 uh, I will not gonna try to do that so as you can see here, this tank is rather slow, even with the top bar, uh, top engine. It's only about 207 horsepower, which is not enough even for the 23 tons. At least we can use our low profile to at least shoot over this ridge, or we can even drive up there. But we have to be careful of artillery because we cannot take in any shots of artillery. The object 704 was right off me. So this gun has 246 pen, which is enough to penetrate almost any tier 10 if you hit weak spots. And there we have uh, 54 breaking through our middle, and he is going to be a big problem. I will also be trying to play some other tanks that I don't own like the FV-1803 which I'm very interested in getting since of its uh, very very nice gun and its hash armor the hash ammo is firing so I have to get down here again because in this instant I'm pretty much tired of everyone of course always be careful if you're the lowest tier you're pretty much the snack in the whole game so everybody's going to try to shoot at you that was a very stupid miss I expected him to move a little bit slower to yeah but while well, you gotta take what you gotta take I had to take the shot or uh, I would have uh, failed to hit him so There we go, we finish off the ISU, uh, we had a very nice shot, it was a fairly high roll, um, if you uh, look at the damage you can do like 381, so you can also do up to 700, which is amazing, it's like, there goes a standard round, about 500 damage, which, which is okay, but still, you like to see the 700 rolls, who doesn't, who doesn't. It's just, I mean, what I fi find a little bit weird in World of Tanks is that the freaking E4 and the E3 can do up to 1000 damage, but they usually do only about 700 to 900 max when I'm playing them. So that's really weird in my opinion. So that guy over there is the same tank, but he's using the other gun. And uh, I could have used HE right there on that tank since he is a tank with no armor practically so I'm just gonna do that I'm loaded a HE shell 
He just has to back up a little bit more over the ridge, so I get a nice shot on him. I can use my um, telescope or binox to wait for him to come out of cover, but I'll probably have to move up since uh, they will probably try to push for our base, but we're pushing their base at the moment. But they still have two of these TDs uh, sitting over there. So that was stupid, I should have loaded AP. There was a IS-4. And of course... And now he comes out. Seriously, now I'm gonna load a HE shell to destroy him. I'm gonna decimate him in one shot. You guys will see that. Uh, yeah, now of course I'll decimate him in one shot. But it looks like uh, the tracks absorbed all the damage right there. He got lucky since uh, they made the tracks um, like spaced armor uh, you have to hit the hole so he got lucky there that I wanted to prove my point and now I'm getting fired upon by the object 263 shouldn't have not shouldn't have pushed So that guy is going to push over to get artillery. I'm going to see if I can get a hit on him. He's already over there. So I is 7 not paying attention. Well, you're going to pay for that. When you're not paying attention, you're going to pay. So I will hope that he goes... Really hopes I really hope that he's gonna move up if we shoot him. But I cannot take him up here. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to avoid. But uh, there was a good example that you cannot you cannot count on the um, gun depression of this tank because it's uh, pretty much non existent. But other than that I think we did fine as a tier eight in a tier ten match. Of course, we could have done a little bit more damage, uh, helped our team a lot more. But, you know... Well, we still did 2600 damage. I'm not completely set aside with the 128. It is a fairly decent gun. Uh, of course, it has nice pen, but it's just missing the kind of boom the 150 has. But, we will try the 150 right now. So, yeah, hang in there. Oh, yeah, I just expected this map. I knew this map would pop, pop up. I'm still waiting to get on the new map, the northern blah, blah, blah map. Looks like we're, we're in a tier 9 match, uh, tier 8, tier 9, which shouldn't actually not pose any problem at all. So... There are four German TDs, six German TDs, actually, on our side. No, no, no. Wait, there are more than six. There are eight German TDs Come in, in the whole game now. The PZSFL5, which is also called the, the fucking the Big Dick Max, or <laughs> Dicker Max, if you look at its gun, it's huge. <laughs> it looks so funny. And then we have the tier 9s. The Buffen Trigger of PZ4. Which I really liked um, to play. And I have a previous video up on it up on YouTube. But I still have to upload both of these videos. Uh, because the first video I uploaded um, kind of still hasn't been uploaded completely and it's a little bit weird I don't know what happened to that video I uploaded on Buff and Trigger off the PC4 that preview but it's always saying me uh, telling me it's still in um, work and it's not completely finished and I just have to wait a couple of minutes but that's actually not gonna change anything because it's not really uh, 
being processed, which is very weird. So I'll have to re-upload that one again. And I hope to bring you guys um, that gameplay very soon. And also, uh, I'm, I'm doing this a little bit differently than a lot of the other people. I'm starting with the biggest uh, tier. So I already have made um, a preview video of the Waffentrager of E100. And I'm very surprised that I like that tank. I really enjoyed it. It's um, a very funny tank. Um, you can use it tactically very good for Clan Wars uh, with the um, especially good view range and also the ability of shooting four 155, 150 uh, shells in a short amount of time. So uh, I highly um, I don't. Uh, well, um, what was the word again? I highly suggest you guys to watch the video I made. That was a bounce, go round and the bounce. Well, it's the 150. Still has the same pen as the 100 gun, but it's not the same gun. A AP does the job. Perfect. <laughs> Why use gold if you have AP? So... There's a Amex in the open, so I'm gonna take the chance. Oh my god. And there you go. There's another thing that I really can't stand. A freaking hit, but no damage, and a track shot. I'm shooting freaking rounds of the size of children at these tanks and sometimes the tanks aren't even bigger than the fucking gun and they still freaking do zero damage because they hit the tracks which is like ma it makes like no fucking sense so it looks like my team is steamrolling him It was a bad shot. I should not have taken that shot. I have to move up because at this spot here, I'm really worth nothing at the moment. Not supporting my team. I'm not big help. Yeah, pretty much. So, it looks like that, that guy is suiciding. There you go. Somebody just tried to shoot me. looks like we're pushing these guys and the rest of them is probably at the base since they're slow heavy TDs T95, Tortoise, Tortoise uh, Waffentrager of Panzer IV which is not a heavy TD but it's probably down there and there you see both Tortoise just took out two tanks and we have to be extremely careful not to get eaten up by these Tortoise and uh, 95s there is one of them, probably facing my direction at the moment. Of course, always aim for the big hatch on top. There you go, AP shell, perfect shot. That was just um, RNG on my side. RNG in this game is really, yeah. The random number generator, horrible sometimes. Like freaking horrible sometimes. Well, he has no armor, so even if I hit his tracks, it's gonna do a lot of damage. So, am I happy with that? As long as I do damage, I'm happy. It's that easy to make Tiger Tank happy. Just let let me do damage, and I'm happy. I don't even need many kills. One or two kills is totally enough. I already have so many top guns. I don't need any more top guns. I just want to win, I want to have fun, and do some damage. So, let's... Of course, um, the Tortoise has uh, amazing cost, amazing good reload time. So, the SU-122 just uh, kind of just standing there, so I will take this as an uh, invite to fuck him in the ass. 
which pretty much set him on fire. So what am I going to do now? I'm going to load a HE shell to shoot up his ass. Oh my god, my teammates are really bad. Oh my god, look at this. Well, I'm gonna use this Conqueror as cover. I know, me chilling. Very douchebaggy move. And, well, fuck the Tortoise. Tortoise, Tortoise, whatever you wanna call him. I'm gonna get this Tiger. Tiger's gonna kill a tiger. Oh, fuck that shit. So, I have to say, the 155mm gun in this tier is perfectly fine. You can just use AP, and there we go. We just got a tanker, but I don't know. It's probably not that high at the moment. 4,391 damage. That's a respectful amount of damage, in my opinion. We could still have done a little bit better. We could have shot the 95 in the ass with a P shell X uh, instead of a H E shell. But I, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to blow him up with a H E shell because I thought that these morons of teammates would not block me, so I could get behind his ass and just stay there and blow one big H E shell up his ass. But whatever, I did 1,500 damage to that tank, and I'm happy. So, uh, this will be probably the last game in this tank. And, yeah. So, we are on Mountain Pass, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do in this map. Tier 9 ma uh, battle. They have a big majority of mediums, heavies, and... Uh, less TDs, but we have the TDs. We have the heavy guns, especially if you look at the German uh, tier nines we have in here. And that probably means for me that I'm going down, supporting the push of the heavy and medium tanks. Of course, this is a test server, so you cannot expect best teams or anything. Uh, people here are playing this for fun, and um, you gotta live with it. So I'm gonna spot real fast. I have the. I have the binox. Let's see what I'm gonna spot. I'm probably too late because. Um, a lot of them have already moved down there, where I'm still a little bit too far away. Das muss wehtun. Actually, there's a... That's uh, a... Track shot. Probably tracked them, but zero damage. And he just fired into my general direction. So it looks like I have to go down there and help the IS-8 and the Patton. They're not doing too good down there. I need some help. Maybe some friendly teammates will come down there and support us on the defense of the south. At the moment it looks like this is more of a camper team because we're mainly running TDs, which I can totally understand. So they're pushing hardcore now. They have something heavy up there. So I say it's close. And I will probably be too in a few seconds if I don't pull back. It's time to fall back, full retreat. Poor Patton is gonna get knocked off, <laughs> and I'm gonna get out of here. Oh my god, this is so mean. This is one of the douchebaggiest things I could have done, but I did. And yeah, well, sorry, Patton. Here goes the uh, object 704. 
they're getting around the corner. I have to move over here to get at least some cover. Oh no, 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 no. So, uh, as I already said, this tank does not have any armor. So, if you if you find an Indel anywhere, shoot HE at it. That had to be a clutch shot, and we failed miser miserably at that shot. That was a horrible shot. But I have to say, the scum depression on this tank is really bad. So. And I'm gone. I did zero damage in this round, so I'm gonna try this again one last time. This is not gonna be the last match. I'm not gonna go out with zero damage. <laughs> well, where the heck was the whole entire team? Poor 54 is getting owned. Well, at least Bridge did quite a lot of work. Uh, 95 is gonna get owned. Good guy. Oh! That's sad. That's just sad. That Centurion just bounced the shell off the 54 and. Low roll. Don't ram a 95. Get on its side, but don't ram it. Looks like the E50 really won the game for them. Well, this poor guy up here, he should have at least uh, helped us a little bit more down there. But, you know, that was kind of my fault too. So, we're already at 32 minutes. Which is quite a time, of course. 32 minutes well I like to make my previews a little bit longer just to show you how this tank is and um, I think it's very important that you know how how this tank plays during battles so I like to make uh, the videos a little bit longer show you a little bit more of gameplay than not show you guys enough keep the video short and uh, you guys have um, bad experience with the tank because you didn't have enough gameplay to cover the tank so yeah well I guess I um, think this was the last game I should take a break I uh, hope you enjoyed this preview video of the RHM Borsig Waffentrager I enjoyed this tank in tier 8 uh, and tier 9 battles, it is a hell of a heck of fun. You just have to learn how to play it. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. This is Tiger Tank 1 2, and as always, keep on tanking.